I'm uh, Jose Tamez III. I am a E3, and I am from Porterville, California. I'm Ian Tu, Kaylee Moore, and I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. My name is HM3, Danielle Good. I'm from Cole City, Illinois. I'm Seaman Gianna Curcio. I'm from Staten Island, New York. Hello, everyone. I'm Navy Counselor First Class Rashad Etheridge, and I'm originally from Jacksonville, Florida. The significance of it is it's a constant reminder of what we lost on 9-11 and it's to show our country that no matter what happens we can keep moving forward and we're not going to let the world forget what happened. The significance upon this ship is every day you see some type of memorabilia that reminds you of 9-11. Without that um, we have our motto which is never forget so without being reminded of our past it helps us make better decisions within our future and I get to be a part of something my mom had to go through and my dad. The significance is there's uniforms from the first responders that helped with 9-11 and seven and a half tons of steel that was made into the ship, um, just part of America's history. And since I didn't really have any part of 9-11, I didn't have family members, to my knowledge, that were in 9-11, it helps me become a part of it to help represent it. Serving on board the USS New York is an extreme pleasure and responsibility. Uh, a ship that has a namesake that's dedicated to countless lives that were lost. Um, most impact on America as well as the military came from the tragic day of 9-11-2001 and we're reminded of that every day on board the ship. My name is Barbara Ballman, and I was a YN1 when I separated from the Navy. That's a Yeoman First Class. My name is Chad Ballman. I'm an E8 in the Navy, and I'm an aircraft mechanic. I enlisted in December of 1997. I joined the Navy in July of 1997, and I've been serving for 24 years. I remember being really scared and ready to answer the call. Um, I was nervous about what was going to happen to me at the time. Um, I was operational, so um, I was put on call, ready to go, just nervous about where I was going and what I was going to be doing. That was the honest to goodness first time I think it hit me that I was in the Navy. When I joined the Navy, we weren't involved in an active war. I did join the Navy knowing what I was signing up for, but I think at that moment is the first time I was like, oh, wow, this is, this could be what I signed up for, you know? So, um, you know, I felt scared. I felt worried. I was sad, sickened by the terrible um, attacks. Um, but yeah, I think that was the very first time it was like, oh, wow, you know? This could be exactly what I signed up for. So I think that's the first time reality really hit about the whole situation. Uh, if anything, I'd say it made me want to serve more. If anything, it made me prouder. It made me proud that I was signed up for something to something that was involved in protecting our country um, and going after the people who had done this to us. I absolutely supported that 100%. And it made me proud to know that while I might not have been directly involved, uh, my brothers and sisters in uniform were, and I was there to support them in whatever aspect that meant. Um, even if that meant taking care of their families who were left behind. So um, yeah, it just made me proud. 